and my two schoolfellows, whom I will trust as I will adders fanged. Okay, welcome back. Today we're building this. Let's get to it. So this is the left wall I'm putting together first. You can't see it, but it says center tub left on both these pieces here, but they're facing down, so you're not gonna be able to see them. And this is just one of the brackets. They're side agnostic. I'm putting it on a piece of wood and I'm using these two pieces here just to support it. Um, there aren't any screw length call outs, so that's what you have my video for. So I just, I'm just checking screw lengths to see which one I should use. This is the number six, uh, one and a half. It's a Torx head and it appears to be exactly, oh, drop my phone. It appears to be exactly the correct length. So that's what I want to do. So my plan is actually to screw all these screws in sort of loosely. Uh, flip this over, pry it open a bit so the crack's visible, dump some glue in there, flip it back over again, and then screw it down and make sure it's nice and locked in and let her dry. So I'm gonna do that, show you the finished product. I mean, if I was really cool, I'd set up a camera and do like a whole fast motion thing of me working, but uh, to be honest with you, I don't care that much and I'm not gonna do it, it's too much effort, so deal with it. Actually, I screwed in one screw and then realized that the head doesn't sit flush because these aren't countersunk. So that's gonna bother me, even though you're never gonna see this because it's inside of the it's inside of the tub anyway. But I'm gonna countersink all these holes real fast, so I'll be right back with you after I do that. You use a five eighths inch countersink to do it. There we go, much better. Now the screw heads will be completely flush when I screw them in. So I'm also gonna apply some glue to the back end of this and glue it on there, and that's gonna be my play. So real real quick aside here, when I first bought these, they had this like plug of glue that dried up in there. I had to take this cap apart. You can twist it off and clean it out in the sink to get it to work because I have like a plug of dry glue in there. So if you can't get your glue to work, uh, that's why, pain in the butt. And my next point, uh, paper towel and some water is essential because you're gonna get glue everywhere. At least if you're, you're gonna, if you're like me and you're sloppy because I'm really sloppy. So cleans up with water, not a big deal. Just make sure you get it before it dries. Okay, so I pried it open. I wedged some glue down there and then I smoothed it over the wet paper towel as best I could. And I'm leaving it to, to hinge like that. So it hopefully presses it together and now I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other side. So I'm not gonna be record that because it's gonna be the same thing. Oh, I just cursed, sorry. So that's all there is to it. Okay, so there they are, they're done. Um, those two brackets would lend more support, but they have to go in here on the inside and I don't wanna put any support pressure going that way because I want that glue to dry. So I wanna keep the pressure going that, holding the two pieces together, like I can't do with my hands here like that. So I'm gonna let these dry, glue takes 24 hours to go. So I'm gonna see what else I can work on right now. So that's drying, I can't really do anything else to it. I mean, I guess I could. I could bolt them to the floor piece of the tub, but I really don't wanna do that until the glue's dry just because I wanna play it safe and not risk screwing this up. But I don't wanna stop working. So what I'm going to do next is I can start working on the side walls. There's a lot of work to do here. It's just busy work basically, but these are the supports for the ribs and each one gets one on either side. Um, some get pointy ones and some get flat ones and I'll demonstrate Excuse me, I'll demonstrate which has which as I do it. Um, <clears throat> but I've got a million clamps, so I can do at least probably four or five of these right now. And uh, so I'll start with the side I'm gonna build first, which is the right side. So let's get to it. Now, something to note, these ribs are side agnostic. That is to say, you've got two rib one, two rib two, two rib three, two rib four, and it doesn't matter which side goes to which side, because you can have a four for either side, and a one for every side, and a two for every side, et cetera, et cetera. And they're the same, they're just book, book matched. So you could flip them over and you could have it work for either side. So it doesn't matter which one goes to which. So I'm just gonna start gluing supports to their appropriate uh, struts. And um, I've got a picture to help with that. I'll show you in a second. So here you can see rib uh, one, which is the front of the tub, gets a flat one only on the inside. Rib two gets flat, rib three gets flat, four gets pointy, five gets pointy, six gets pointy, seven gets pointy, and eight gets flat only on the inside, which is the back of the tub. So you can see here we've got four, five, six, and seven, and then we've got flat ones for the ones that just get flat ones. These guys over here are all wall supports that I'm not gonna be able to do until I bolt the wall together, which I may or may not do right now. We'll see. See if I get to it. Here we go. Once again, it's looking like the uh, one and a half inch is the appropriate screw to use here. So it's going to be uh, number eight, one and a half inch for these puppies. 
As usual, I'm gonna use this to countersink so the heads aren't poking out. I'm gonna apply a liberal amount of glue on the bottom there and I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna clamp it. So see you on the other side. Just to give you an idea of my technique, I put the screws a little bit through so I can line the holes up with them. And by the way, there's two sets of holes, but only one matches. And I put the glue and I'm not gonna be able to do this one hand. Oh, maybe I can. I do my best to line it up there. I kind of move it around until I get the hole. There it is. And then I just screw it in and you're done. And there you have it. She's clamped and she's ready to go. Now, in case you think, oh, the screws will do the job. I don't really need the clamps. You need the clamps, dude. When I didn't have, when I just screwed it, when I put the clamp on there, a bunch of glue oozed out after I clamped it. So the clamps really do make the difference. You can't get away without these clamps. You have to have clamps. They're not expensive. Just go buy them. So support two and support three both get the flat boys. So I'm gonna countersink. I'm gonna glue them. They get one on either side. Uh, I can show you that on here. Let me just pull that up real fast. This is two and three right here actually. So you see they got other side. So I'll tell you what size screw fits that best in a second. And I'm gonna use the thick boy clamps for these because the little guys probably aren't gonna cut it. So here we go. Okay, I've elected to go with the number six by one and a quarter. My logic being this. If you look at this, this is about three inches. And so, sorry, this is about three inches. So it'll go through this board and then halfway into the middle board because you've got to have it going through here into that and the same on the other side. So the idea is I'm gonna glue and screw all of them, um, countersink glue and, screw, glue and screw all of them. And then once they're held in place, clamp them down real good and tight and the screws aren't gonna matter anymore at that point. So that is my plan, here we go. Now I don't need to use my technique of screwing the screw in through to find the hole because these should line up to be completely flush. So I'm gonna roll those dice and just simply glue it and then screw all the way through and we're gonna see how that works out for me. I'll report back in a second. There you have it. Smooth that glue off right there. It's uh, let's squeeze a little bit, oozing out a little bit there. Yeah, it's, uh, that's it. So that worked out perfectly. So approved and I'm gonna do the rest of them. I'll report back after each one. Okay, there's three. And uh, all right, let's go do the rest. I'm gonna go do, where is it? I'm gonna go do, where did I put this? What's oh, in the email? I'm gonna go do uh, four, that is four, four, five, six, etc. So four is next on the block. Four, four, four. Countersink and we're off to the races. Let's do it. These, they are not side agnostic. Make sure you pay, well, side of the rib at least. Make sure you pay attention to which side you countersink. I mean, if you countersink the wrong side, it doesn't really matter, but like, I am like this and I was about to countersink this side and I'm like, wait a minute, this is gonna be on the other side like that. So make sure you countersink the correct side so they all line up in the end. All right, here we go. Man, I wish making these videos didn't pause my music. It's really jarring. And I wish, wish you could hear what kind of music I'm listening to. It'd be kind of funny. But whatever. And I just realized this piece doesn't have any holes drilled. So that's a problem. It looks like the rest do, but this one, he just must have missed the holes <clears throat> when he cut it out. So I'm gonna have to drill them myself. All right, well, let's figure out which bit to use. Looks to me like these are 1 8 inch holes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drill 1 8 inch hole through them on uh, both sides. Probably clamp these down to make sure they don't go anywhere and drill the hole. Easy peasy, no big deal. Yeah, no big deal at all, easy peasy. All right, back to our regular scheduled programming. Four done, moving on to five. Well, that's it. I gotta wait for this to dry, and I am Winchester clamps, so I can't do any more supports in the meantime, so I'm also running out of build space here, so I gotta wait for all this to dry before I can move on, but uh, stay tuned, there's more to come, obviously. Not stopping here.